I felt to take the car and do that. But it's like, I was like, you know what? Let me just go. I even sat outside the yard for a bit waiting for like to be like, you get me? I don't know what I was waiting for. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I was waiting for. But I'm a re- I'll be real, because it's like, it's a real thing, isn't it? Like, I men have situations, pain, isn't it? Like, pain. But it get me, fuck it, I had to even answer this. <laughs> anyway, fuck <laughs> sick. Um. New questions every day, how's a brother supposed to sleep? Listen, I give younger books. Trying to educate myself as I'm running through these streets. There's no such thing as black and black crime. You can hit us in the DMs if you want the smoke. Pew, pew, pew. Not sure where the conversation's gonna go. But did you do your research? Yeah, I wanna know. That's the life of a domino. So obviously this is the first time we've had twins on this, so we're gonna do the intro together, you know what I'm saying? Hardest rappers to come out of Luton. Also authors write books. When a Carla spat that bar, it's like Shakespeare with a nigga twist. That's what inspired mm-hmm. these man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is I hear it? that. Dre and Mitch Money. You ready? We're here for it still. We're ready. Come on, Mitch. So Money. I'll let you man discuss actually give a little intro to your book and then should we Same. do ourselves first or just a book for now? Do yourselves actually, do yourselves. Cool. Um Mitch and J Money. I'm J Money right now. I'm an entrepreneurist. I'm an entrepreneur and an artist. I love business. I love thinking. And at the same time I have a passion for creating. Um this is my brother Mitch Money. Introduce yourself. Mitch Money, J Money. I'm Mitch Money. I'm an artist. I'm an entrepreneur. Lover man. That's what the ladies call me. Yeah, I'm just Jeez. here, man. Just doing my thing. Author, poet visionary all of that good stuff and yeah we're just here to talk about the book you feel me let's get ready to a domino <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, come that's on the one. like <laughs> share that's the one. subscribe we're back again with another week you get me we we'll always bring you a lot of good content the least you can do is like share and subscribe with the thing in it also big up our sponsors beer gang you know what i'm saying been connecting beer since 2019 so if your beard's lacking you need a bit more oh. masculine jazz <laughs> slap that upon your chest yeah, you get the chest hairs, you get the beard hairs. Yeah, me, they're looking saucy like the brothers. Don't worry, we're going to sort yeah, you, man, out as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get you 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 to I won't say the names, but she said at least she's she, lying, she stopped me now, man. She's, she's not, lying. She's well, I, t- I tell you now, if you see beer gang members, she'll know what going. Like, oh, <laughs> so nah, that's I'm what a real beer looks like. You know what like. it is? Man's around beer gang members, and <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. Me and Drizzy, mm. we're up front. Hey, these man got their team. back, you know. We're Jeez. up front. We're like, <laughs> between our gang, respectfully, the man, them, every all of my guys are like, you get me, you man, the man, them, they know. My, yeah. my brothers, you man, know, you man are. We're all, we're all on a team, we're all out here. Mm. But you know me and Drizzy are strikers. Forget the beard. You say Mo Salah versus Man United. <laughs> Arsenal, I'm an <laughs> Arsenal man myself. Thierry Henry in it. I'm Thierry. I'll get me. I'm there. But you could eat Arsenal man, but it's cool. We we can. You man won today, but it's cool. We don't have to discuss Arsenal. Like that. Boy, boy, that. boy. But you man, give us a load about the book, though, man. Talk to us. Let's give, give us a little summary. I've got Too questions because I've read most of it, but obviously give us a little breakdown in your words about the book. Um, I right, cool. Sex in the Hood. Tap into the source. Available on Amazon. Sex transmutation in context. Mitch mm-hmm. and Jay. Um, that's from Busy Books, Build Up, Settle Young. That's our little thing. Um, uh, well, big little thing. big thing, little big thing. It's about but it's to probably go. nothing. You get me? It's probably nothing. But yeah, um, the book Sex, Sex in the Hood. To be honest, it's a guideline of how to identify sex transmutation. Sex transmutation is just like a concept taken from Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read that and you believe yourself to be wanting enhancement like a bit of involvement in yourself and way of thinking that's a book i recommend to anyone but it's just like a breakdown of scenarios in real life where sex transmutation is being used it just you get me Quick, that's, that's quickly what, break down for the people then what is sexual transmutation in my belief of sex transmutation it's transferring that sexual energy and then putting it into doing something else other than just dropping a nut so like I want to say not wanking and then doing other stuff, but that's a very baseline way of doing it. Like sex energy is much bigger than just like coming and doing these things. There's like, it's actually just, it's a productive energy that makes children. So like, think about when your body, when you're having, when you come, that thing that comes out, that's all of the things from your body coming together to and create a child, a person, something. So that energy is just 
it's within you. It's I don't know how to. It's hard to explain. Like and make I mean, it layman. You're term. making it make sense in the physical aspect, mm. but I would like to see it as in it's a spiritual awareness of energy that you have inside you. It doesn't need to be literally thinking about nothing, like and transferring like oh I'm roasting today. I, let me do something because I'm roasting. Mm. It's more about tapping into a spiritual awareness of power within you. Yeah. That's it. Well said. Awesome. Okay, Awareness. okay. Uh, when reading a book, you man talk a lot about tapping in. Mm. So like break down like to you because that's more obviously sexual transmutation. You said I think Think and Grow Rich is the, the guy who or whoever wrote it was the guy that coined the term Napoleon, Napoleon Hill. Napoleon, yeah. Napoleon Hill. But tapping in, it seems like a, a term that you man have kind of coined yourselves. Like what exactly is that, and like why is that important? Tapping in, get in the zone. Different mm. ways to say it. Get in the zone focus, mm-hmm. concentrate, see, I'm a visualizer, see yourself, like tap in, like be aware, mm-hmm. be consciously aware. And obviously right now, I don't know, because of the lockdown, there's been a lot of, um, a lot of people have taken on personal development. Being aware comes with personal development and not everyone's conscious to that kind of mm-hmm. awareness right now. Obviously, I think in the ten, next 10 years, it's going to be something that takes over the world, like, like a domino what, effect. What personal development? Mm. Yeah, personal development. Potentially like, it's could be, be a domino be, effect. Could, like, like, could, like, could be in school <laughs> curriculums. No cap. Yeah. Like personal development might be personal development might actually be in a school curriculum. 100%. And it should. They be. need to learn that. Like, learn that. Yeah, because I, I I say the same. I feel like <coughs> a lot of the problems we see in today's society, a lot of the issues we face is that people lack self awareness, mm-hmm. and because that lack of understanding of self. Mm-hmm. it creates problems when you're interacting with other people mm-hmm. because a lot of the problems if you actually understood yourself you'd be better equipped to, um to to interact with other people 100 mm-hmm. percent. so lacking that personal development that introspection is what i see a lot of the problems in society big word, isn't it? Well, come on, yeah. sorry bro sorry bro come on fam you get me might as well read that here no, it's get good, me. It's good, it's good. we're pushing it we're, we're pushing it out here 100 percent though 100 i feel like it's definitely necessary i was i was reading into transmutation before i got here and one of the things i found it quite interesting because it it was something that I reckon I've practiced without realizing I practice. Mm-hmm. Unconscious, Unconscious competent. competent. We talk about that. And like okay. Most of the things we do it like out of everyone instinct. does. We it. do it all. It's, this is just to bring it to know? like it's to like to bring, bring it to a your conversation conscious. to it. Yeah, like oh shit, man it does that. That like, most of the people that will read that when you read it, when you read it, you're gonna be reading it and be like, man's been doing this, but mm. it's, it's like you have more awareness. like awareness and like it feels Keep like, oh shit. You had two you, terms, you had um, unconscious competent and then you had, was the other one victim or something? Victim, like, yeah, you're just going through the motions. You don't know what's going Life's on. Life's happening just, to you. You're just, not happening it's just to life. It is, yeah. mm-hmm. And I said this earlier when we were first speaking, um, we, as as a collective society, it's good to understand from this, perspe- <laughs> this perspective that you happen to life and life doesn't happen to you. And if you, if you clock that, tap into that. Tap in, you can actually change the steps of where your life is going. Mm-hmm. Like if you clock it, but once again, personal development it takes time, it takes repetition, and everyone's growing right now. Yeah, um, being present. Yeah. I think 100%. as well, like coming from our community, you you like when you're younger, you want to be a fighter, you become known as a fighter, or you become the girls man, etc. Very early on, you know, violence elevates you within the community. Obviously, mm-hmm. like we're from similar, but well, we're from the same community, like down my road. Respect. <laughs> but um, same way, you know, about getting girls elevates you. Mm-hmm. The problem is where man lose themselves is they know that getting girls elevates them and then they get frivolous with it. And then, then they lose their focus. And then you can even use that as a coping mechanism. And now you don't have no purpose. You're using it as a Spot form of escapism, on. like a drug. It's Spot on. Spot on. dopamine. So cool. there's going to be something where we actually look at sex in different ways because mm-hmm. you have to think about the the bodies of um that we can tap into their spirituality emotionally knowledgeably physically mm-hmm. monetarily like people literally like my man did what he did for weed he <laughs> <laughs> used sex he used sex he used sex like monetarily right yeah yeah and, and girls do this like yeah, I mean, girls do this so they yeah, use it transactionally yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, transactionally in, in Dubai yeah, totally. went, we went two weeks ago bro BBLs and lip fillers all over the place and I actually just generally wanted to have a normal conversation and with a girl just relax but every time you got 2,500 durums oh, durums like, raw. I can't even just chill bake but cool. man's we're old school with it. Man's with I'm just if I'm money good to comes talk. out, it comes yeah. out. I'm with, I'm good to just talk and move to a goal traditionally. 
But I, I don't. I wouldn't pay for sex ever. Yeah, I, I said that. I, ever? Like, I can't pay for sex. She looked at me no. like I'm crazy. She's happy like, ending. You wouldn't pay for sex. Would you no. pay for a happy ending? Like a massive? You know, can I tell you what? It's one, but before I never used to give a fuck about um, like the like buying into the industry. So for example, you know when you buy into cocaine, you sell cocaine. Like you indirectly are funding for all the p- human trafficking and all the people and the, yeah, the, the drugs wars in other so countries. So you become a facilitator. Yeah, facil- facilitator is the word oh, I'm yeah, looking yeah, for. Yeah, that perspective is crazy. So with the same with the sex industry, when most people end up in sex work, either through trafficking or through trauma, it's like you're buying into those things. So that's one reason, but that's only me to come, in, come into that as a realisation now as a big man. The initial reason was ego, bro. The guy I see my self as is to be able to get my peace is something that, you've earned so how can you have earned it and then i'm be- be- buying it the person who i am in my head i'm not that person mm-hmm. do you know what i'm saying so it's more to do with me but okay. then now when you read more f- being a facilitator in, in those industry when it's child sex trafficking and all that is such a big issue and now growing up as a man realizing that i used to think people are shit people but now i've realized if you had lived the experiences someone's lived would you be any different like for example, say you see in ends, we see all the crackheads around and most of them had fucked experiences. Who's to say if I hadn't been molested from by my dad yeah. from the age of three that I wouldn't be the same? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I get you, but there's a polar opposite to that where that industry may also facilitate some goodness. On the on the other side of it, you get mm. it like the guy who does be out here and does his thing, he may now invest into, he may later become a big tycoon in his thing mm. and then invest into some things that help people in the future and mm. take people out of them situations obviously it's about i get your perspective but there's also no because i see i, I see your side, argument because you there's a reason of like for example if we did the conversation on incels you know what incels are i'm not gonna lie there's, to there's, you. they're basically involved there's a group of involuntary celibate men it's like a you could say it's a terrorist group basically men are angry at the world because they don't get pumps basically mm. and so they're, they're women women haters so for men like that who Go into a brothel could stop them doing so a mazine, then I get the need for the sex industry. So it's almost like when you look at many things in society, it's like people look at it as when you do one good thing for the world, that eliminates all problems. For every good that happens, there's bad. And I'll use these examples to um, illustrate. When Martin Luther King preached for equal rights, it was good for black people because they got jobs. But there's only a, f- uh, a finite amount of jobs, so that meant white people got less employed. Mm-hmm. And even now, when you okay. look when you look at now, say for women, now women have been given the opportunity to have um, equal rights. Mm-hmm. That's driving the je- the poverty gap further. And I tell you this why is before well historically men men and women socioeconomically, women have dated up, and men have dated down. So there was always naturally between genders that there was that poverty divide. Now with women being able to work, now you have these high performing, high earning women who still only refuse to date up. So now rather than there being an equilibrium between man and woman, you're getting all of these high performing women taking all the high earning men, which is leaves down to the, well, leaves what is left for the rest of the gap is getting further. The only solution to do that is to tell women to stop working. You can't do that, that's not a solution. So I'm saying the fact that you've given them equal <coughs> rights now has elevated women, but in terms of the poverty gap, so far there's no other solution to stop that f- gap from furthering. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why when you look at anything to do with social societal policies or economic laws or whatever, people always think, oh, if we do this one thing, it benefits everyone. There's a thing called I don't know if yeah, it's opportunity does, cost. Yeah, polar- polarity. There mm-hmm. was a hot and cold. To it. Do you know? It's, I never knew about that. Thank you for showing me that. Still, yeah, mm. well, that's a bit of a deeper one still. How we're, we're here to learn, isn't it? Mm. It's a deep part. It's like... Oh. Well, that's what I learned from you, man. But at the I same time, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I that don't one's know. a crazy one. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think that's still a choice still. Yeah, <clears throat> and I think that comes to As awareness once again. Like, yeah, like, are you going to let poverty get you because... Yeah, are you going to let it catch you? Mm. As a Even as a man who's not high earning, would you let it catch you or are you going to take a make a decision and say, you know what? I need... I want to... Do you get me? Elevate my situation. Because I, I felt sorry. I just, in my mind, I felt sorry for the guys being left at the bottom because the girls are going with the ballers because the girls are ballers. And mm. so I was like, ooh. But at the same time, we've all got choices in it. And the way the world is going, I'm not going to lie. I had this conversation with my boy on the mm. phone today. There's bare ways to make peace. Don't, yeah, like, that's for everybody who thinks they're struggling. There's ways to make bread out here. Don't ever get it twisted. I get it, it's hard. But, 
the dirt is going to make you grow into a beautiful flower. And then you feel like the one of the solutions to that is sexual transmutation. Mm. I think it's just <clears throat> personal development, number one, car. I know a lot of people, I may be a person who has made mo- a lot of money, but there have been times when you make money, but you're still driving around in a whip, pissed off at the world, mm. but you've made peas. Mm. So, but the personal development that I've, journey that I've been on has kind of took me away from just focusing on certain things. And it's like personal development's helped me think in a certain way, which opens the next opportunities where it's not all about peace, but at the same time, it's like, okay, cool. The personal development's made me think, you know what, there's more to life. There's loads of ways. It's not very like, what's it called? Um, uh, contracted and very just yeah. simple. It's like, there's a lot more open up my mind. It's, it's more than desires. It's more than desires. There's a lot to it. You get me? Self happiness. There's, there's two. Love. Con- well, not concept, but there's two historical events that you man speak speak about in the book about how you can tap in in love, like Zuckerberg did with Miss Channel. Was it Miss Channel? Yeah, um, Philip yes. Channel, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And then about how I think you said Nick Cannon does, did that solely himself. My, my, so okay. break down how you can do it in a relationship, tapping into achieve the objective and do, do it in real life or like as a because obviously that was a it's an opinion it. Once again, the book is a person. It's an opinionated book, yeah, but then it. if you observe it mm. without um, deeming it as like right, this is the holy grail. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not. It's grow. not a holy grail. You it's just grow. like a, it's my. It's my, It's the madam's opinion. It's your obsessed subjective like the, analysis. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's how it has to be. So, so how do you see it being done then, in terms of okay. in love and by yourself? Like you in love and by yourself. I cover one. You cover one. In love or by yourself. As lo- I'll Let me go it. in love yeah, still. Say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lover, man, but say that and live. Uh, <laughs> live. I, I can do both, innit? I've been through both, innit? Potentially. Do you get it? So, mm, I've been I've through been both. Through Personally, both. I've been through both. I don't know still, but I, love's easier for me because it's Run like, it, run it, man. you got the cheating stories as well, innit? Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> My, no, not applicable. Wait, hey, your laces are good, fam. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, boom. In love, right? Uh, Cool. I was actually, I'm not going to say any names as well. I'm just going to yeah, say yeah. a scenario that Even happened. if it did, we'd bleep it anyway. We don't, we cool. don't, don't do names. Um, uh, I was in Australia for Christmas one time. This is a personal experience. And I say personal experience because personally, I can't give an opinion on me personally. I can't give an opinion on someone because I don't know what. I can say I can understand someone, but I've never been there. She's to understand how they're doing and why they're doing something. But for me, I was in Australia. I was... um actually there for a Christmas holiday for a month with my family and I said do you know what this is nice mm. but also I'm a business person so I had like an online business doing finance and forex crypto all these things mm-hmm. and I started talking to the people in the area I said you know what I might just stay here for a couple more weeks to see what's going on in that time I had a goal that I left in the ends we stopped speaking like maybe two or three months before I went to Australia then she messaged me when she saw me there. I was there for so long. She's like, Rod, what? You gone? Like, you never come back or something? What's up? Mm. And I was like, nah, I'm coming back. <clears throat> then she's like, oh, I thought you were going to go. Then we started to rekindle via social media, like rekindle something potentially. Mm. And then while I was there, it motivated me to say, do you know what? I'm going to kill this, come back up, and then I'm going to be with my goal. When I was in Australia, I think we made close to $114,000. This is just in mm. literally three weeks. Australian dollars. Yeah. Mad. So half that, that's about 50, 60 racks. Here. Yeah, so sure. Regardless of the matter, this is from, I met the guy I was working with. In one month, we did this. Mm. This is one month. And bearing in mind, I, I'm personally someone that's never, I've never, at that time, I'd never seen that kind of bread like that quick. It was always over months, prolonged time. So I was like, you know what? This is something I didn't realize what I did until I got back home, though, because I was like, this girl has motivated me to work. But the funny thing is, when I got home, it dimmed down and it wasn't like that. It Everything changed. Well, from being around her, it actually changed. Like, no, the, the way we were talking to each other changed and it mm. wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It hurt me, but then I still can actually, you know, I can talk about both as well. It hurt me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. You don't even know you're doing things that sometimes. Mm. It hurt me. We made that much money in a quick time. Come back, didn't work out. Came back into the UK. It wasn't what it seemed. And then two twos, 
the business still kept on growing and growing and growing. And my mm-hmm. business actually grew to, well, our business grew to 173 people. That's literally turning over more than 20 grand every single month. So then I'm understanding I can actually tap into that. Now that I'm sitting in hindsight, you can tap into it from a little bit of heartbreak and a little bit of love as well. I hope that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, yeah. Mm-hmm. I hear that. No, 100. Deeper. When you say tap into, <clears throat> what, what are you tapping into? Just focus, you know. I actually think it's just focusing on yourself. Mm-hmm. And that comes from sexual energy initially. I feel like basically like you're asking what tapping into it's like okay um uh, for example you're uh, you're in school mm. the way the man the ma bravado um uh, let's say a foot race or rocking uh, did you man used to rock at school yeah of course like, what do you mean like, like rockers like, rock rock just a rock like oh, oh. Rock oh I thought you meant rocking it like, like no like, you telling me fam? not a real fight <laughs> not let's say not a real fight but like for example like your first day or first few days at school like. The, the group, the the the, the groups of the man them link up and like, let's have a ruck one v one. It's not a serious thing. Yeah, yeah. But oh yeah, it's like, 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 like body it's blows like, and, and the man them just scuff. Let's yeah. scuff. Let's let's well, scuff it out. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> cool. Like okay, cool. But like most of the time, <laughs> yeah. most of the time in them situations, there's probably the group of the girls as well. Like mm. they're watching and and you know there's the fly shorties. You get me? It's like. As man, them we tap into this. Uh, make sure like man's on my thing. Alpha energy. Man, talk about that. That word alpha as well. That's some um, chapter two, two in the book. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's alpha that. energy. It's yeah. like we do, we do it from a very young age. Like in school, year seven, year seven, you should like. I don't know about you, but in Luton, that's what we. I remember when we first come into high school. There was a field we play um uh, like this game like Not running around and everybody's like rocking and. You, you kind of gain your alpha status for the rest of your school life based on these events. You want to like, get known as a fighter. Do you get me? So like, you, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you, you fight or, or, or yeah. alpha or like, you get me, quote unquote, that guy. It doesn't really, you get me, it doesn't really matter how it kind of comes across, but it's like doing that, you're tapping into something like, and most of the time as men, we like, I believe most of the things we do as men is for gal, isn't it? Like, Let's be, uh, we can say, oh, I just want to be up. I just want to put my family on. I just want to do that. But most of the things we do is for girl, including the gym thing, like the way man might walk into a room, look at a girl, kind of like most of the things we do. And it's not to like just for gal, but when you take everything away, strip it all down. Yeah, yeah. That's dude. what it is for, isn't it? You, like, you have, you have so, a similar viewpoint, don't you? I have the exact same view, mm. viewpoint. Like everything we do is to appease another person. Because... Our perception, nothing we see is completely original. We've, we've observed it somewhere else and then we, we project what we think other people perceive us and that's how we behave accordingly. So I completely agree with the notion that, yeah, like, man them go gym for gyal, man them want to be up for gyal. I think, but I think men are more open to admit, admitting that as women that don't want to admit that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's what I'd say anyway. I hate you still, I hate that opinion. I think, me personally, I think, I think I love myself more than anyone, though. I do it for me. Don't Everything get wrong. Yeah, we me. love ourselves. I couldn't say underneath is for women because that's a bonus to loving myself. Um, that's the, reason, the reason I disagree I think, is because if you was up and you and say you love yourself, but you got no women for the rest of your life, you wouldn't be happy. No cap. No, but we're not. You, no, reality. you that's wouldn't be happy. Nah, nah, yeah, this is all. <laughs> that's this my is all, point. This is hyper yeah, This, this, this is my point. So when you when you want to do it on the vice versa, like uh, girls will always say, "No, I do makeup and dress up for me." But if no guy looked at you at your best ever, yeah, you'd yeah, be like, there's something well. deeply wrong well. here. Well. That's, well, yeah. that's your longing for social acceptance. Nobody wants to be ostracized. We're, gregar- we're gregarious creatures by nature, yeah, which 100%. means you want to be included in social circles. Okay. So we do things yeah, that. that we see other people do and we say, cool, is that is that how I boost my social standing? Money is one of the biggest drivers for men. Mm-hmm. Women, w- women seek to be around people whilst men seek to acquire things because by acquiring things, you can acquire everything else you want in the process as well. People People naturally come. come. So if you strip it all back from a biological standpoint, a lot of the impulses for the stuff that we do is driven to attract opposite sex or to appease people in our immediate surrounding. Yeah, high key. In the book of Science of Getting Rich, Wallace Wattles, I read that book religiously when I was in Australia. That was another key fact that helped me 
mm. like well, well, what, what concepts was in um, the, uh, the science of getting rich not just in the monetarily um, uh, facet from every angle of life and one of the main things they said was you shouldn't do anything in life to please someone else because it doesn't actually do anything for you it does momentarily mm-hmm. for a moment but the moment that person stops doing something where well, it stops doing something for that person it takes from you because now it's not for the self so this is why it's important to get rich for yourself as an individual Basically, inside leading on because I, I have a concept that i talk about all the time that kind of crosses over in the book but i call it something else you speak of when you tap in you actually become attractive to other people and you're more in your focus like mm-hmm. do you want to break that down and i'll give my what i think on that okay for me when you work on yourself people can tell you're tapped into you're tuned in tapped in turned on to yourself like and when you understand yourself i believe you operate different and that kind of behavior where well, i feel when a female is like that i'm attracted to it because like you know what you're tapped in mm-hmm. like you're thinking for yourself you're not life's happened you're happening to life life's not happening to you and i like that i keep saying that because that's one of the things that i like to i like to be in control of that i'm not a victim out here mm-hmm. no one needs to be a victim you can actually choose have the choice to empower yourself in this life that god has given you you mm-hmm. get me god's the greatest every single time let them know what else and you use that god within you to be your best level and you'll meet the best person the best things to happen to you via that avenue. just to clarify mm. we don't do this thing for again however it's there it's like an instinctual we thing we, yeah like you know it's an indirect it's, consequence it's, of yeah, it's indi- goal. yeah yeah it's like okay so man's fly what's that gonna bring and it's like we don't even need to say it it's yeah. like but it's not like oh you know this girl i'm gonna do this for her just to no 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 that's that's, that's me yeah it's, it's yeah, <laughs> that's yeah it's, it's me. indirect that's me that's that's so it's like just to clarify just so everybody operating knows. from your subconscious if you was consciously doing it then that's a red flag isn't it? yeah yeah you but can't you're operating like, from no, no, your subconscious no, 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 yeah if you're no, no, sitting there thinking but if i do this i know home girl she likes no no don't get wrong but don't get wrong but but there are times when like because i'm i'll be real like i'm an honest person to say has there been a time where I've been like, oh, you know, I'm going to make sure man pattern up, go gym, make sure man's peng. Just so when I see this guy next, she knows. I'm a, I'll am I'll be real. Like, I'm not going to lie and act like I've always had this self-love that I have now. Because like I said, like you grow as a person. Isn't it? Like there's a version of me when I was 16. There's a version of me now. Mm. The self-love has psh, shot through the that roof. Comes, you know it's brazy. And it's like, obviously, man, like man evolved based on traumatic experiences when mm. we was back then. It's like, you like, you, you can't be like, I remember one time, I, <laughs> BB days, you remember when like- Broke us back then. Broke, like, you didn't <laughs> see the pictures when like, sick face, heart, like whatever face. Yeah. There was one time, I must have put the picture up and one gal must have put the sick face in that. Brother, <laughs> your bird. Brother. <laughs> nah, nah, it's a, but I laugh at it. Yeah. But I know that like, she, she saw me now though. like, sh- just saying in it like, pff, like no, like humbly, I know myself in it. It's like, but them things there made sure that okay, cool, man's get me like you get me, and it's made me the person I am today. It's that like, man embraced that in it, like, but at the same time, you gotta love yourself first, and then more things start to come 100%. to you, and it gets like that. But I'm a realist, though. I'm not gonna cap. I'm not one of them guys. Nah, man's always nah, nah, because that's not it. There's growth in it, and myself in it, and I know that. I, I like that. You feel my me, my brother. Come on, that. <laughs> man, man, I had to let them know myself. I had an experience. Nah, it was mad. It she was done me wrong. But it's it's good. It's good that it happened because soon after that, like it, it wasn't that no more. Do you get it? Mm. And I saw you, man. You man were saying Chubbs dead. The man of everyone's been through it. Mm. Everyone's yeah. been through it. It's, as a man, like to be able to even say it, it shows more strength than well, someone like, who like says they ain't been through it. Do you get it? But I love right it because, like you man said, like it, it made us who we are today. Like. Without having to face those trials and tribulations, you know I, mean? I say blood, sweat, and rejection. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Without having to face this. Hey. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't have too much rejection. Like, not fam, too much. Back in the day, when like I was younger, that, it was a graph. I'm just saying, <laughs> wheel up things. Me and my boys would say, listen, if you draw 10 gal, three map reply, one's going to chop fam. 100. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a game of numbers, a law, the law of averages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, well, I ain't just jogging, drawing up gal. But nah, put me in any space. In terms of sales, being able to to persuade and negotiate with what, people. Now? 
now yeah, because yeah, of, put me you've learned those skills. You know what I'm 100%. saying? Those skills were nurtured through those trials and tribulations. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it is convertible skills. It's like I remember my boy. Like mm. he he gave his life to God. He was in the T. Like he, he just wanted. He was trapped. Like you're you're in the trap because you're trapped in. But those convertible skills. He used to he used to be the F man in it, and he used to pattern holders and do whatever. And but he said like when he went to his firm, the guy just like you've got no CV whatever. But I can tell you're hungry. I will give you a chance. In the history of that firm, he's the first person to close a deal in a week. But he just said to me, bro, when I'm trying to get a square of people to rob them, me actually selling people a good product. He said it was like taking candy from a baby. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's many transferable skills that you get. So do whatever you do. F guys <laughs> messing them squares. He just gave it away. Well, I feel like I've, I've had an experience with, with transsexual, sex transmutation, yeah. What was that? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I knew, I knew. Whoa, yeah, you can't say that, you can't say that. He said, You've had an experience with transsexual, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah, don't be a bit bad. You might know what I'm trying to say. It's just decent. You had a try. It's done now, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but nah. So I was, I was, like I said, I was, doing, I was reading up on it before I come here just to get a better understanding of what it was, yeah. And what the guy was basically saying is that a lot of men, we like we have a lot of energy, and that energy is built up through like keeping your testosterone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can translate that energy into being productive and actually getting things done in your life. So when I was listening to it, it made it, it kind of emulated the time where I said um, I took a year out of sex to practice discipline because I feel like men don't men lack discipline. Like how can you expect to engage a long term relationship when you haven't gone x amount of time without actually engaging in sex? And I said throughout that year, documented that everything in my life was improved as a, as a consequence of removing women from my immediate view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Like, to the point where my university, like, the, the, them grades that year went up. I was volunteering, I was doing bare stuff, business plans. I was going to bare different meetings, all this kind of stuff. I had bare energy for stuff that I wouldn't traditionally have gone to because women weren't involved in my life. Yeah. So when you listen to what these guys were saying, it's like, um, when when putting that into your, into your scope, they're not saying remove women from your life, but control your urges and translate that 100%. energy into other aspects mm -hmm, that can mm -hmm, improve mm -hmm. your life. Because again, an indirect consequence is the thing that you're seeking initially. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that experience for me, I was like, this this makes a lot of sense. Because a lot of people were confused as to why that was in a business book. Mm -hmm. Not realising that how much time as men, because of our urges and drivers, we dedicate to actually pursuing women. Even man with the Napoleon Hill. when Because when, when we was in the plane going to Australia, this guy, we on the plane, he's saying, oh, Sex Transmutation, chapter nine. Yo, yo, and I, I ain't even read the book yet. I'm thinking this brother's going in about this chapter. Like, he's the one telling me about the chapter. The whole Australia trip happened, etc. whatever. We lived the movie, come back. Then I read the book, read the ch chapter about it. It wasn't what it was. I'm thinking, what, not thinking why is it in the book, but it's like, it's like, How's okay, it okay, whatever. Read it again, whatever, read it again. Then like I'm starting to like think more and I'm thinking, hold on, hold on. This actually does make a lot of sense. So I get exactly what you're saying. You can overlook it thinking, what's that got to do with anything? But it has got a lot to do with a lot what, of What things. motivated you, man, to write the book though? I'm going to say quickly, Go congratulations for holding it down for a year. That was yeah, that's strong. big still. That's crazy still. Not no, everyone no. can do that still. Come like, on. Was it, was it with voluntary? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure, that's bro? That's good, man. Brad, you see? Oh, sorry, you got, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it, you got it. You got it, you got it. You got it, Was it, again, I'm going to ask, was it voluntary? What do you mean? Voluntary drought. Was it like you closed the floodgates and said, I'm closing it? Yeah. That's because- We're inside. No, that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. I said to myself, it is." Cause yeah, he did it. I didn't. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought you done it. Oh, <laughs> I'm, giving, <laughs> giving giving flag flag I'm giving you flowers. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, for me it was like cool. Like there was too much emphasis on getting gear, too much emphasis on tonton. I think, bro, any 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 addiction that you can't control is a problem. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So I just thought to myself, I'm trying to remove all these problematic situations from my life and better myself. So I said, you know what? Yeah. What's the consistent thing that I do all the time? Was I'm always do, chasing was women. You doing the most? I'm you, always no, was I'm you just, doing the most. I want to say, listen, I was getting gal. It's not the thing. It's just like, but I was wasting bare time. It's, or do you know what used to piss me off? The roast. You see them times where late night, you've been jogging. <laughs> you get me? Like, man, I'm like, yeah, everyone's banging, um, bagging things. And he's like, bro, you're just there, circling around at three o'clock trying to find a thing. Looking you get hungry. home, you're just texting scraping, back. Scraping, you, scraping, you said, you up, you up. Yeah, yeah, thing, yeah, you know? yeah, I was yeah, like, bro, yeah, this ain't yeah, normal, You're doing a lot, you're doing a lot. I said, this ain't normal, fam. I said, you know what, I've got to remove this from my life. So it's like, yeah, 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 dead. Because obviously, man, we talk about the roast for banner all the time. It's like, yeah, man's roasting right now. I said, this is a problem. Why Why is man out here feeling this way? That don't make no sense. So I said, cool. I'm gonna mm. challenge myself. Damn. I do bare different things like that to elevate and grow. Cause you say personal development. I do so many different things. Like I've done that. I've done, I did a seven day water fast. 
you know what I'm saying? Well, I did nothing, drank nothing but water for seven days. Sick. Again, just to challenge yourself. Mm-hmm. What, um, food is such an important thing to the human body. If you can control your urge to eat, you can apply that thought to yeah. other things. Well, you it? had nothing but water. Nothing but water no for food. seven days. No food for seven whole just days. Straight water. Straight water. Imagine did that. Straight lose weight. Like, yeah, yeah, you lose geez. weight. You lose weight. But it's a cleanse. Oh. It's, a, it's a cleanse I, as well. I, I got. Sick. I used to start doing stuff like that. Like you know, David Goggins. He talks about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you tap into the that kind of pain when you didn't have hard experiences in life then you just think back to that time so yeah. I, I remember in lockdown i ran a half marathon no training okay. and i was just running bro and because i'm bro i'm not bro i'm short stocky and asthmatic fam so for me it's a myth the combination so, is crazy so, so, it, it, bro, it's, <laughs> the way you dropped that edit bro, yeah. that's a, that's a myth. Shit. it just flo- it flowed too much off the top of like shit you fucked up man yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're good you're good don't worry two hours of running yeah and then you just realize when you get past like an hour, you're just like, it's actually a mental battle. Mm. Like the pain just yeah, becomes numbing. Like 100, you're just 100. numb to the pain. Like I probably could have gone lo- lo- longer, but I was just like, ah, I'm just, it's all right. I've <laughs> yeah, achieved my goal. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's why these things are important. It's important as people to challenge ourselves to seek out that growth and elevation. And I don't feel like a lot of us put that to the forefront of who we, who we are as individuals. Yeah, 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's important to try, these, try that, these different things. Whatever works for you, because different people have different trigger points. Do you know what I'm saying? Hundred mm. percent. A, a way to tackle, I think, uh, the running around late at night is emotional intelligence as well. If you can understand your emotional intelligence, like, right, you know, what? I'm racing right now. Let me slow down. Like you actually clock this ain't normal, so you recognize yourself. Mm. Like this ain't normal. I'm feeling a bit mad. Let me calm down. And if someone out there is, because let's face it, people are being challenged by these things. You should try to understand what you're feeling, why you feel that way. Maybe you do need a partner. Look for a partner so you don't have to be like that. If you know you don't want a partner, I would actually seek your own emotional intelligence how to deal with yourself in that scenario. But, but a lot of that is toxic masculinity from the hood. Like, because growing up, if you're you're addicted, we connotate with being a nitty. So saying that you're addicted to anything, it's almost like, no, oh, man's not addicted. Man's not a nitty. So saying you're addicted to sex. But, saying you're addicted but I think there's, there's also... No, but you can embrace that. If you are, if you mm. actually like sex... Yeah, there's nothing wrong with like liking sex. Says, we, we're all adults, we yeah, like yeah, that, that's what that's man one of the things I well. wanted to put across with the book. It's not to say, don't have sex, just get money, just focus on goals, just do that. Mm. No, 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 no. Because, no. like I said, I spotted you for saying a year out. Because, could I do it? Question. That's non applicable at the moment. At, at the moment, <laughs> I could, but it's like okay, cool. But I enjoy that. I enjoy it. Like I'm a man. I'm a growing man and like I love female company. Man like, say grow, talk, man like say even, not a shower, you know? even just to like just chop up. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Like, say growing not a shower. Yeah, that, me, now nah, I'm, I'm a bit of both. I ain't gonna hold you, but you get me I'm a bit of both. But it's like with, with like I love female company, like like I love it when I'm with a girl and it's like vibes and it's like, Same. oh shit, we didn't even mean to do what we're doing, but we're doing it and it's like and I love that part of it because it's natural. As a man, like I said in the book, it's natural. Sexual urge is natural. We're born with that. That's like, before making money, reproduction was our first task. Mm. That's the mm. first task. So money's a new thing to the original task anyway. Mm. Do you get it? Like, mm-hmm. so man, I, I, I wouldn't ever say to anybody, you should allow having sex. Don't get it wrong. If like you're doing too much, like again, hounding gal, doing the mad thing. And I've... Have I been in, have I done that before? Non-applicable. But it's like, <laughs> when you're doing too much, like slow it down, in it? Like, like he take said, time. take time. Like, but this take is where time. the self-awareness element comes in. Yeah, so I feel yeah. like at that time in my life, I was trying to tap into a lot of these different energies and, and understand who I am as an individual. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So when you start to gain self-awareness, you start to understand what these urges mean. Because I think where things might get lost in communication is that a lot of men think chasing gal is normal again because of toxicity that comes from ends mm-hmm. because right. when you're growing up on the edge you have to be you have to fit into one of three categories i see as you have to be the guy that's on on crud the the the, the, the comedian or the guy that gets money if you don't fit into one of those things coming yeah, from ends yeah. you're just you're just any guy yeah hear that. and you want to be one you want to be I someone so you go to university and man are like yeah what you need yeah how you can just bang bear yeah must have nuts must have nuts yeah nuts you're nuts you know what i'm saying we know what happened when you went oh shit in them places there you know what i'm saying i heard i heard nuts was mad i didn't i didn't live that he went nuts i used to come check him i didn't have that 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 movie that these that, well, that apparently not, people have of not was a movie. What uni did you go to? Like, I went Huddersfield, didn't it? So that was very like yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Respect whoa. Huds. Uh, Huds yo, like, I ain't gonna lie, I love, I love that uni. It was good for it. It was good for what it was good for, innit? Like I yeah. loved Huds uni, innit? Like it was good, but like nuts. 
I used to hear mad stories. Yeah, not I'd pull loose. up and it's, oh, I can't know where the stories, it's not that, it's a different setting. He, he, did, he didn't take you to the clubs you meant to go to. You know what, I think, no, no, I had my own vibe. I, I had my own him. vibe though. I was, <laughs> him. This is what I'm saying, but I had I had a gal, but I was also on my own vibe, innit? Like, like I said, there's been bare versions of me since 16 to now. That that uni version, that's that the 18 to 21 version. Mm. Mm. I was a different person, that, especially for the first two years, like, fuck it. I was a different guy, like, was I a different guy? Yeah, man, I was a different guy. Still, like, mm. I'd be, I'm a, I'd be screw facey. Do you get me that like, screw face? Like, I'm just there to get me pulling up, doing my thing. Do you know what? Quickly, though, one thing I do agree with, yeah, yeah with when you're, well, when I t- took the year out, that's when I got the most emo attention. Yeah, get said that because mm. the energy was just different. I think girls can sniff out hunger, hundred percent. When a man's mm, hungry, y'all can see it. So you see, you see that when you're. It's like emotionally unavailable. You're just not interested. Again, just, they just want it even more. Bro, and leading on to that, it's just like, think about it. When you break up with a girl, the first one you score is always the hardest because you're moving thirsty, blood. Wait, say that again? When you break up with a girl, the first the first goal you score after that is always the hardest goal because you've been so used to being with a certain type. Then you start moving, you start moving yeah, thirsty. Fuck it, you ain't now you're, now you're on like, oh, I need to fuck out. I need to fuck out. I need to fuck out. And they can sense it, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, girls can see. Or, 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 or the caliber of goal isn't the best. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, men, men yeah. are dogs, I say that yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Men are dogs. Oh, wait, so it's the, yeah, but I get that still, like, fuck it, man. That's really <laughs> but no, I think we need, I think that mentality, especially growing up where we come from, needs to be unlearned that we, ha- like, we have to pursue women as a, as a sense of elevation of self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nah, nah, it's, nah, it's, it's not, not at the moment, it's man. not because unle- that the guys who are unable to learn it are the ones who end up just like, that's what, they, that's what they say, broke man give the best sex. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Because that's all you got time to do, just I pam. I with rich sex. Yeah, rich sex nah, though, you, you, Rich man, because rich man ain't got time. I hear you get me? I'll that. give you the, I'll give you the five minutes. Wealthy, wealthy sex. <laughs> <laughs> and they have, the, they, have, they have the pick of the bunch. It's just like, oh man, if I don't please this woman. Like, you, you don't care. But if you say if you're homeless, you're like, I need to give her the D of a life. You know what? Bro. You know what? I'll... Uh, what can I say? I don't know if I. I think that might be a, a late. Yeah, that's but, a subjective. Bro, bro, late look at Kevin Sams. He said Kevin Samuels is like, um, I'm an older guy. I've got loads of women. I'm gonna give you the best three to five minutes of your life, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that though. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna lie. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't with it. Cause, <laughs> cause man's had situations. But it, there's been guys who are telling me stories. Basically, that situations, they're getting bread but they're laying it down as well. Cause mm. like the more like, you know what, like, bro, you know, there's nothing like <laughs> yeah. having mm. a really good day yeah. and getting in and doing what you need to do to said person. There's nothing like it. Yeah, but I think, I you think what getting, 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 so, so, <laughs> you have to remember, it's different. It's not, it's you have to remember, <laughs> them man are giving wood like five days a week. You have that one day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where okay, that okay, one okay, day safe, you're going safe, in, safe, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Or two days, two days. Are you sure you're rich? I got time. Rich. <laughs> Get me. Yeah. For, for 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 a specific female, a beautiful female, you have to give them a bit of time. 100%. Still. 100%. And like one thing I've learned as well in this journey of entrepreneurship, like nothing any type of money doesn't make up for missed time with cared and loved ones, innit? Mm-hmm. That's one thing I've clocked as well by learning myself. So how do you balance that? Um how do you balance what? Getting money and Ta- seeing your people. Yeah. Have your time when you say I'm offline. Mm. I'm days. offline. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's it's but most people who are like, and obviously there's nothing wrong with wanting to get bread. But I've learned this. I'm around like there's a lot of people. There's a specific type, specific person who I'm around. They come from good backgrounds. Money's not the first thing on their mind. Mm. Money, because they already have money, or because I, I I don't know exactly. I don't know like bank statements it's none of them ones yeah. but let you get there and you know it's not that mm-hmm. it's not about that nobody wants your money we're just here to know you as a person and love you as a person and from by being around them type of people who haven't because us man we're from the hood yeah and a lot of people we learn our we got to grind. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I'm, I'm grinding. Duh, 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 duh. But there are certain people who have never lived that life, mm. and they know, and they'll teach you if you give them an opportunity to opportunity to that money is not everything. Spending time with you is a lot more. So it's like no one to balance it and say, you know, I'm offline. Cool, but get your bag. Don't be lazy. So I think that's difficult to say because I look at myself as an example. Yeah, 
I'm working and jogging so much now. I was even busting band with my dog the other day. I said, I, I, I'm so busy, I ain't even got time to wank, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Do you know what I'm saying? No, so like, good, 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 good. So you should be wanking yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> You're a big man. <laughs> fam, listen, if you want to bust a nut, bust a quick nut, fam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wank now. Oh, fuck it. Do your thing. Bro, man, listen, that's the man them live, fam. Do you got to do? Do you got to do? I just feel dead when man's sitting there like done that. Uh, bro, that's why that's like that's me, me, bro. I feel like a you feel shadow, you feel a bit I dead. That don't you feel dead, bro? Just but, holding your thing, just like oh god. Mm. <laughs> like, like I said, nah, I ain't got time to do it yeah, anyway. Get me that. Like, I don't even. Be, I don't, I'm trying to step away from that. No shade to anybody who does, but man is definitely stepping. But away like from I, that. I find it hard now to balance spending time and um and 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 jogging. But my thing is this: I jog now to buy back my time in the future. You don't. That's not promised, and that's one thing. Like. Like I said, like man's been around. I've been around a lot of people who make a lot of bread, and time. There's a lot of men who, who have been around who've made a lot of bread. But okay, cool. We're gonna buy. You're gonna buy by that time, but you're in jail now. Buy it. Buy it then. By the time you can't. Mm. But yeah, then yeah, you're, now you're trying to build relationships through a phone. But that's a man that's it's on not road. making sense. What about the man that's doing legitimate? Don't get now. But I had to bring it. I would just bring it to something that I'm around. Right, something yeah, that yeah. I can say it to. It's like. There's time now, present moment. The present is the only moment that really does matter because mm -hmm. the future doesn't exist, the past doesn't exist, present, nice. we're here now. And I get it, like I said, there've been times you've made peas, but you're still driving around in a whip, pissed off at the world. But it's like, cool, can you balance that? Can you make peas, go spend some time and then get back to making peas? And it's just about finding that nice flow of things where you can enjoy life, enjoy people, get to know people, learn stuff, and still make bread. Don't get it wrong. I'm not saying don't be a bum and don't make peas. Man's about this money thing. However, it's like the level that I'm at now in terms of like my mindset is, okay, man can make bread, but my, my old day is 70 plus, my mom's 70. Mm. So like there were bare times where I'd be out here doing whatever I need to do. But then there's certain times now I'm just, I'm just, I'm loving the moments where I'm just sitting and she's sitting just there. Baking, man. We're just baking. So your mom had you, you know, when she was like 40. Yeah, she's, she, 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 she don't even look. But she, she don't even look at me, though. That's what I'm saying. She don't, she don't act at me. She don't, but being intelligent, do you get me? She's not at the youngest part of her tether. Mm. She's up there, mm. but she's very well and kicking. So it's like, for me, Time's important. Time is yeah. important. Time is more important than bread, but don't get twisted. Find ways to make money. And this is where obviously the elevation of the world now. Like I said, there's a lot of ways to make money. Get get creative with it. Learn a new need-based skill and make the bread. But don't forget that it's important to spend time in it. Like, it's very good to spend time and just, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'll get to that another day because there's money, money to make every day, bro. Like, the only way you're not going to make money the next day is if, you're not you don't want to but most of the time if you want to make the bread it's there for you in it like mm. it's really there money to, money's not gonna run from you in it money chase man money you chase, get me man. i'm chilling with my people the my phone is one of the things people tell me no phones no phones take your phone away because the phones will just end up ringing 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 just for like legit stuff and i'm like raw i'm sorting out this this is new thing i'm working on but it's nice to just you know put the phone hey, but you're down. smooth with it as well because i love the way you said ringing 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 you're like Legit stuff. No, no, because now, because that's <laughs> what man's on. That's what man's on now. I'm, I'm like, man's transitioned into the legitimate world, and in this world, like, you get random phone calls that oh, I need you to, can you, can you send that video to somebody? They need to see this, and it's like, okay, cool. But then at the same time, yo, I'm spending time with my people right now. Do you get it? So mm -hmm. I need to sort that out. And in the big business worlds. People lock off at eight o'clock. There's no time for that. Yeah, I'm no, done. Say, yeah, I'm I'll done at talks. six, seven. Hey, don't ring my phone tomorrow morning. You're gonna ring me at five, between five and twelve. That's when I'm taking phone calls about certain things. If not that twelve, I've got not this scheduled, that scheduled, that scheduled. By six, seven, I'm in the gym and I'm out. I'm going dinner home. That's me. So it's like moving into that legitimate world of like billionaires and all that. They're not on the phone twenty four seven running it up. No, They've got their sections. If you caught me, you caught me. If you didn't, hey. That's it. So, Gallim, if you want to slide the man's DMs between 5 and 12, blood. Yeah, you're not catching him after that. You, <laughs> you got to wait till the next day. <laughs> and if you get a reply, raw. You get me? You're lucky. Yeah, you still. must be nice, still. Yeah. Lucky still. Yeah. But man's just, I like, I like my time these days, innit? And it's like, it's priceless, innit? Time is priceless. 100%. Time is priceless, cuz. Trust me. Well, obviously, to be honest, 
usually the conversation is toxic, so you have to get the moisture to moist things down, but hasn't actually been that toxic today, but unfortunately rules are rules. <laughs> you are going to get toxic. So... Okay, oh, I was going to say, you might have to take one of them out. I ain't going to hold you still. <laughs> Which one? Which one? <laughs> number four, take that one out for me. Number four? Take that uh, one if you, out. If you, if you pick if you, it out, if, if you get we'll number four, we'll, 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 we'll cut out. We'll cut out. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, I remember what number four is, actually. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's hot on the block. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Okay. Um, uh, what are some of the examples of things that women feel embarrassed to share with oh, someone? That should, be, that, should be, that should be men. Okay, so you have, to, you have to get okay. real soft with it. Like, what are you like insecure to share with? You know what with girl. With girl. Um. Hmm. Me personally. You mm, personally. Me personally. Anecdotes are always welcome as well. Anecdotes. Yeah. Stories. Okay. Cool. 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 I kind of knew that, but I had to just <laughs> clarify. <it for>. <laughs> <laughs> um. What are some of the examples? Of You're things? thinking of one. You just don't want to say it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's thinking? He's like, oh, I've got a rap career. Yeah, exactly. Wait, what's, the, what's the question? What's the question? What's the question? Basically, what, is, there any, is, is there any things that you hide from? And I'm basically, this is a safe space, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is there anything you hide from like, a female? Yeah, that. Mm, I hear that. Bro, the internet and TikTok safe space, bro. Do you know what? <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> okay, I've always said to myself, um, due to past experience, PTSD, fuck it. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. However, at the same time, it's also I'm being aware of myself now. Like, I know I'm okay. I know myself. I'm good. Make that clear. He's good. Affirmations. <laughs> myself, he's I'm good. okay. <laughs> I'm happy yeah, and he's grateful. Good. Yeah. Me? I'm nice. Like, because the greatest every time. What else? However, what else? I'm always um in a relationship. I'm always seventy to eighty percent. I'm never a hundred. Not because I don't appreciate or like the person, but because I'm on guard. Because mm. I never know how, what could someone else can be. But then this is where I As compensate in, with the love for myself. Like, you know what? It's cool. Like, I love myself. Like, we'll move regardless. That 20%, that it goes to me. But I'll never truly leave myself vulnerable. It might happen one day when I completely say, Do you know what? Take mm. me. Take me for a wild ride um, in the best way. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what way? Why are you not like so about that combo? You yeah, are you still, are you still, you're still in that combo, my son. My son, my man. Yo. I was like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? There's all kinds of rides. Bro, I'm <laughs> <laughs> that star dog ride. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Drain yeah. too clean, right? Drain too clean, you get me? But yeah, That's like... You don't even smoke. I'll never... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually exposing it right now. It's mad because... Um, yeah, I do feel... Sometimes you do feel for something like, you know what? It's fuck, I can't even tell you that I love you, you know? Mm. So you never but told a girl in a relationship that you love her? No, I love everyone. Mm -hmm. And I tell everyone I love them, but I can't tell you how much you... I love you, like, Wait, there's, my, my. there's levels, though, mm. sorry, there's levels to love in it, like, yeah. like, you can say, you know, I love you, you know, like, I love you, fuck it, do you know what? So, wait, I wait, love you, for you, know? you to be truly open and vulnerable, what would that look like for the girl? Like, because that's, that's I think that's how they would see, because you're saying you can never really give yourself 100% and be truly open and vulnerable, like, you, expose your soul. You seem, like, emotionally unavailable. <laughs> yeah, me, so, like, yeah, like, what, what do you withhold back? Or what, what do, do you, I withhold back? Yeah, like in a relationship. Like, is, it is it like trusting them or is it you like being like the Disney romantic? Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm, I'm cool with that side. I'm, I'm quite spontaneous. So, so you do like rock Ray J, sing outside the window in the rain and that? Ooh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. We can get comfortable, but then at the same time, Fuck it's like it. you start to you start to get like, Bunny, sometimes that kind of love that I'm talking about, it's unexplainable. Mm. Like... You just know when you're moving a bit like raw. Even your friends can tell raw. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, whips, yeah. whips, you're whips, whips, whips. Low key, whips, you're whips. Yeah, and yeah. personally, just from like, because do you know what? It's mad. There was something I saw online today. It was on, um, well, I can't remember, Shea Bar or, or Officially Urban. It was saying this guy was clowning a girl for eight years. And he's saying raw, that was the best sex I had. He never got with her, but there's a reason. The one girl said, oh, she had a man, so he couldn't get with her. Mm. These days, girls are moving brazy, and they're here for it. They're here for moving brazy. Mm. She knows so high key, so high you key. never know really and truly, okay, is this thing going to last? So 
for me to fully even expose what it would look like. Yeah. Bro, we'll I there. fully hear it. We'll get there. I fully the hear it. The person that yeah. does yo, 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 it, we'll yo, get there. Eddie's like that, the way you describe things. Like, don't get me wrong. I fully hear it, fam. You'd rather not get fucked. Let me not show you the cards. Like, yeah, it's cool, yeah, though, yeah, but yeah. I, I, I actually love everyone. It's mad. Got mad love for because I believe in people, in it? So it's like, raw. But at the same time, I love myself the most. In terms of time and balance, I work on myself more than I work on my business. Mm. Mm. On myself, because I know working on myself I see things and I view things differently and but I that indirectly operate. translate to translates your business though, doesn't it yeah it translates to my whole life yeah yeah and I can I operate personally humbly knowing that I'm driven I operate different when I work on myself rather than a business mm. I work on myself because I can see business from the, from up top rather than I'm in the mix see mm. it differently yeah so if he answers your phone call after 12 yeah he's whipped fam <laughs> High key. Is it? Is it? Because you can get lunch. It? It's it? easy it? to get that <laughs> down. It's easy to get it still because really. certain times you ain't got time to really talk about shit. Wow. What's this one? Oh, describe the wildest thing you've done in a heartbeat. In a heartbreak. A heartbreak. So my writing's a bit... Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the wildest <laughs> thing I've done in a heartbreak. But like moistness, isn't it? She's broke up with you. My man wrote an email. I wrote an email, <laughs> bruv. But it's not, it's not my forfeit, so boy. <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreak. Like you sang outside the window, they're not raging in the rain. I don't know this one for him. He knows I can. Go on. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. wild. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. That was wild. It's crazy. It. But have a drink if you need it, fam. Yeah, nah, I mean. nah, nah. It's calm in it. It's not that deep still. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Fuck it. I'm I'm, I'm I got a big heart still. Fuck it. No names, all of that. But I had a situation where I wanted to get I wanted to rekindle something. And I was doing all of the steps needed to rekindle. Because, mm. you get me being honest, so that it's a fresh slate. Then, obviously, I got told, they told me they, that they fucked somebody. Then I was like... <sighs> yeah, that's fire. I was them. like, I, I was firmed it the whole way yard. Dropped them yard. Furthermore, I was in the, their car, that their car, so it was nuts. So I'm dropping them at their yard in their car. Then I had to bop back to my crib. Brazy. <laughs> so that walk... <laughs> That walk alone, 15 minute walk. That's self reflection. I'll be bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a deep self reflection. I'll be real. For a second, I thought you said like, you crashed a wizard. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Don't get wrong. I felt to take the car and do that. But it's like, I was like, you know what? Let me just go. I've been sat outside the yard for a bit waiting. For like to be like you get me. I don't know what I was waiting for. Like <laughs> I don't know what I was waiting. For. I, but I'm a re- I'll be real because it's like it's a real thing in it. Like I men have situations in it. Like pain. but you get me. Fuck it. I had to even answer this. <laughs> anyway, fuck <laughs> sick. <laughs> um, then obviously man was walking. Mean, nah, it's calm, bro. I'm, I'm I've accepted it. It's calm and it's like safe space. Safe space. Anyway, <laughs> man walked. Man walked to my yard. Then I was crying on my way back. Like that's real mm-hmm. shit. Like that. Like, like the real cry, the real cry. It's not coming out your nose, everything. Br- brother, this <laughs> is it. Imagine man's drunk as well. I'm drunk off as well. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's after a long night. Yeah, so no, that, that's hyper. Everything came out. Everything came out. Emotions on a drunk one. Mm. Everything came out on a drunk one. So got to my yard now. Then the whip of Dookie. I've seen the whip of Dookie. I know where his whip is. I just, uh. I'll be real like, it's a real nigga moment. Like I just went and got a brick, smashed the car. They done a mad thing. Two twos. You get bagged. Nah, 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 nah. My man's randomly pulled up and then we've had it out. We've had a situation. Then like, do you get me? And I'm crying while man's fighting. It's all nuts on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's embarrassing <laughs> to say the least. However, like, I was heartbroken. Yeah. Like, yeah I know. So I it was, made you act irrationally. Bro, I was moving. Like, I've seen man them do mad things. I've seen man them do mad So that's like, and it's like, if I think about it now, and even after that, the, the same day, like man spoke to my man later on in the day because I realised that's washed. Mm. It's, it's, it's dead. Like, yeah, that's one of the situations. It's, 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 it's a bit... It, even your me. brother's feeling a type of way of backing, him, backing you in the thing. He's yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's a bit, it was a bit... But obviously, I, but like, rock man it, man happens, it happens. It happens. It happens like man end up moving mad for that because man's heart's broken. But at the same time, like I'm glad it did happen because now I've got the emotional intelligence to deal with that and if that ever happens again, it's like, oh, It can shit. never happen again. Yeah, it can't. Because I already, in my mind, like like he said, man's programmed myself to, and I would give a 100% of myself to a gal. However, man, no. If she turns around and says she done a mad thing, I'll be like, oh, you know what? Because in, in college, we had the same. You thought she liked you. 
And that yeah, got us through. Actually. That got us through college. Mm. Like when Gal, because in college you know Gal is mad anyway. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> man already man knew that, but I don't know why I let that go. And then I had this heartbreak, and then it was nuts. And oh, being in the windows. situation is different. Nothing can pay for the real thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like, was crazy. It was that crazy. Pain crazy. you feel after, but no, no amount of food, sleep, sex, nothing can get rid of it. Fam. You just have to. You just have to deal with it. I always say, take that shit head on. A lot of man like to run around and just jeep yellow. They try to cover it up with something. None of that can work. You oh, have yeah, to nah, you have to nah. confront a situation head on as a man and you'll you'll grow from it, fam. Yeah, hundred. Fuck it. But that's yeah, that's the that's the maddest thing I've done. So yeah, it's kinda mad still. <laughs> is it mad? Is it mad? I don't, uh, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> Did you pay for the car? Yeah, yeah, I paid for it to get That's real. That's real. Away. No, that's no, real. I deeped it. Moving mad, bro. But get That's respect to nah, you. Know, you know what I'm saying though? The fact is he he doesn't know it's your whatever it nah, was. No, so he bro, that's, that's what I'm saying. It was deeper. Yeah, but if it was your was he your guy though? We knew everyone knows everyone in it in my hood in it, so it's yeah, like yeah, it's not it's it's like but you know again, how many don't, 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 don't fight over again don't don't hate the player man hate the game hate the game bro come on like that's the like, truth on a real on a real nigga thing like man them the game is the game the gal will be the gal and man them be man them man them be men about it as well and because mm. in the same breath if it happened on the other peg and someone smashed my car because what because your gal likes me what yo waste man bro. Yeah. You get it, and yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, I felt. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm a, but don't get it wrong. I was in my right at the moment, emotional, drunk. I, I'm keep saying I was drunk because I was fucked up that night. Mm-hmm. Don't get it wrong, he rocked Dookie though. Nah, <laughs> don't get it wrong. I don't, like it. Like, I don't like to say that. I don't like to say that because man's not like man's not. not like, that's what like, the thing to be proud like, of, yeah, isn't it? Because you started not, it. Man's yeah. not. Man's not like. Bro, I don't do give a fuck. Like it's okay to fight for love, though, is it not? It is. But not in that context. Not in that context, though. But my that, man, but my, no, but bro, like. There was disrespect. There was, there was disrespect, disrespect as well. Okay, there was disrespect as well as the details. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not being but, very specific with everything, but like, the reason I've done it is because of the situation of heartbreak. However, there were trigger, little things. The that's the trigger. That's the, okay, I've smashed the whip for that, but the fighting was for disrespect towards the gal that, so you broke, so my heart's broken, but you're disrespecting the gal. As well as yeah, as yeah. well as that. So now, now man's gonna have to get active you feel, on you because you, like idiot, you made me feel like an idiot twice. Mm. Do you get it? Like fuck it, the gal, the, 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 get me. It's just gal, one of gal, them but, was, but now you're trying to like put salt in the wound. You're at, talking like that. Now man's gonna have to swing you now. Yeah, now yeah, we're gonna yeah. have to get it cracking. But obviously, at the same time, when I like two hours later, when we did speak man to man, I was like, you know what? I was out of line for even smashing the whip. Because if I hadn't smashed the whip, that, yeah. we wouldn't have had the... The confrontation. The, the confrontation, you get it. So, man, I'm accountable, innit? So it's, that's why I was yeah, like... Even, even, even though he did violate, it's inflammatory to smash a man, man's whip. Yeah, that that's was the nuts. first strike. That's yeah, I done too. I did, I did a lot, but get me, fuck it, I was drunk. But the important message in that is... The, <laughs> is the, the important message in that is the ability to be accountable to your actions. Yeah, 100%. And that's, that's why I don't, I'm not really shy of it, like... I wouldn't be. I don't care if anybody knows that kind of thing. Do you get it? Like that's something that. Hopefully, I hope my son never goes for it. But man, will games Fam. him up and say, "Yo, brother, if he has a situation, come chat to man." He'll be so aware. Still, yeah, come yeah, chat yeah, to yeah, man. Do you get it? Come chat to man in it. Do you get it? Because it happens in it. Like, and if you, as a man, you say that hasn't happened to me. Might be capping, man, because we get no, everybody yeah, gets it, a situation. Or you just don't get yell. If you get yell, <laughs> but because I think a lot of man, even me, I wore my heart on my sleeve until I knew I couldn't. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? He was all in. I was all in on two. Well, I wouldn't even say I was all in. I gave a girl a chance and I knew I shouldn't have. But I was more invested than I thought I was. Because when I got hurt by it now, I'm thinking, ooh, where did that come from, fam? Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, sorry, that's a, that's a, couldn't have guessed that, like, guess that one. Yeah, yeah, guess like, that one. That's what I'm saying. You know when you actually can't expect it? Like, oh shit, what? And that's, then you're doing well, you stuff that. that you just never thought you'd do. Like, oh, this, this. You look in the mirror, you're not seeing the same person, fam. So I get it. But again, it's all a part of growth. Man, man quickly fixed up. They don't get twisted. Within 24 hours, I was back. Still yeah, 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 yeah. Start quickly, sending quickly, emails. Quickly. Man, so yeah, you man sending emails, fam. Yeah, now nah, the <laughs> emails thing. Oh, but, but that's what I'm saying. That's a bit... <laughs> but at that, that's what I'm saying. But there's levels to this. Like, man, them advice, don't send emails. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. She's gone, bro. You buck- bro it, no. You're better off bucking her when you've... Sexually transmutated. Yeah, up. Leveled up. When you've you yeah. you got the business. You you see her. Okay, smile to her now. Don't email her because she's thinking, "What the hell? Do you even get my email?" <laughs> <laughs> like, you're moving mad. That's what I'm saying. There's there's levels to this heartbreak and doing something crazy, 
and it's like. But we would have to go through the motions, man. You we would have to go through the motions. Get me? But you, you, man. So okay. we gotta wrap up. Plug yourselves though before we wrap up. Where can we find any projects project coming? Doing, anything man? like that? You can go first. I started up. Um, find me on Instagram, um, uh, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat. Mitch Money SB. My Snapchat's Mitch Made Money. Got um exported files is out now on all streaming platforms. Got some big tunes on there. Lovely. Got a new project coming out soon from um uh, the U two Stop C sides. Um, got another tape pending. The book is out on Amazon. Paperback versions are available. Um, yeah, author, poet, entrepreneur stuff. Yeah, hit us up. Same thing. J Money SB on Twitter, Instagram. My Snapchat is Dre DSC. So it'll come up as Dre Too Clean. Um, uh, we've got a lot of projects going on right now. If you're heavy in the financial crypto forex side of things hit us up in the dms mm -hmm. we'll see if we can change your paradigm and see what's going on we're really trying to change some generational things going on right now mm -hmm. um there's a lot of projects coming in to do with what we've been doing right now which is the book um uh, but just stay tuned for that a lot of vlogs coming out a lot of you know what i'm not even say too much you just want to pop up on mm. them but there's a lot of stuff coming in the paperwork. Yeah, just in plug in. I think it's, you plug into us. Just plug in and tap in. You'll see stuff. Because we're seeing stuff, stuff, we'll see stuff and we're going to let you know exactly what we're seeing. And trust me, you'll see it later. But we've seen it early. So just jump in from early. Um, Yeah, man. Build up so young. We move every single time. Done, no. That was the smoothest plug we've had. That was a good smooth, place. isn't it? That was Rehearsed. Smooth. That nah, was nah, we just clean with it. No, nah. we're plugging every day. It's no, yeah. it's no more than that. We're actually entrepreneurs, isn't it? That to be in, we're entrepreneurs out here still. Yeah, no, nah, I hear it. Some respect, man. Plug people, them. them. Love for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, man. Domino effect. Domino effect. Come, Come on. on.